Hello, this is Hook by Happenstance, and I'm Kendra. And as you may be aware, if you've been following along, I have been redoing my office. And in the process of doing that, I had to remove all the things. Every single thing. And in that process, I went through all of my yarn stash and I made some choices. I decided to keep the things I loved and would pick most frequently and the things that I would not pick in the various drawers needed to find a different home. That home currently is in a tote, hopefully waiting to be used for the local organization. If not, I might sell some, we will see, but that is all to be determined at a future time. Right now, I'm going to show you some of the boxes that I went through before my office remodel. So now we're on to box 15 and this is all of my variegated acrylic yarn. So all of the multicolors that I use for various things. Most of this is Red Heart Super Saber that I use for making dolls and toys and whatever. So we have this which I think is like the Iceland, Icelandic color. It's one of the two. There's two like blue ish ones that remind me of Frozen. This is the one that has the grays in it heavily as well. Then we have one plum pudding. Obviously this has been used partially. I have a couple of skeins of this Mirage. I think I must have gotten these on clearance because I don't know that I would have picked up two skeins of this unless they were like on good sale. And we have two skeins of Melonberry. This has made some super cute toys and we'll continue to. And I have a skein of Zebra, which was destined to be a toy and has not happened yet. I feel like I'm saying that a lot. <laughs> Here we have Pink Camo, good staple. And this is Macaw. I really like this color. It's just, it's really vibrant and pretty and people, when they see it, they're always like, ooh, that's nice. So this is a really versatile color too. It's very spring and summery, very bright and vibrant. And if you're making things for sale, this one is like a good eye catcher. It draws people in. So that goes over there and we have some Banana Berry. Little kids really like this color for some reason. Um, they're just, they always want to touch whatever is made in the banana berry. So that's kind of interesting. I mean, I guess if you don't want people touching the things in your booth, then maybe not. But usually you're more likely to sell it if they touch it. Um, this, I don't even know the color name anymore, but this is another variegated and kind of neutrally uh, like browns and mauves and it's burgundy. Uh, navy. Navy is the color I'm trying to think of in like a forest green. And we have, ooh, this one's really pretty. This is Monet. And I made some bugabees out of this. Oh, I really like them. So I have some things I'd like to make out of this in the future, but this will definitely be some more bugabees. I have enough here. And I need to replenish that supply. So that will go over here. Now there are four skeins of this, which is artistic print. I had bought these to make my weather blanket I was going to make. This was one of the colors and actually all the other colors were based off of the colors in this print. However, I've decided not to make that particular project. So now I just have this yarn, but it is yarn that I like and yarn I will use. And it's very much in my wheelhouse as far as colors and also the wheelhouse of other people I know. So it will not go to waste. Now there are four skeins of this mulberry mix, which is like a purple and kind of a mauvey purple and kind of a gray purple variegated, which I really like. I haven't done much with it, but I do enjoy it. So that'll happen. It's also funny. There's like yarn tags and things that have fallen off. And yes, I know some people would keep those ball bands. Like if they're like not wanting to live with their ball, then they're just they're done. Here is a Craft Smart Value yarn. This is from Michaels. This is in the color Hunter. It actually does not feel even remotely as good as Super Saver. It is kind of scratchy, but I got this to make some turtles, I had thought. So this will be just hanging out till that time. And we have some Super Saver in camo, 
which I like for a number of things. I use this to make certain dolls and stuff. Um, that's just a nice thing to have on hand. There's a ball of this as well. So there's a lot of camo hanging out. Here is some more of that, is it Mirage? The browns and the blues. This I had, I would made a top and I didn't like it and so I frogged it. So that's what those are about. Now we have a couple of, these are Wildflower, which is a pretty color. These were just, you know, probably yarn barf that I cleaned up and balled up. I like to use this for dolls and toys and it's just a really nice colorway. Overall, you've got your blues, your greens, your purples, you know, just basic pretty. This is like a kind of a baby-ish color. Actually, <laughs> Ironically, I think I made something for my daughter out of this. I paired it with, um, like, real teal, I think, or, like, peacock, or some, like, really, like, saturated, like, greenish blue, and it looked really nice. So I made her, like, a weird shrug thingamajiggy that she wears occasionally. More, more yarn tags. Now these are going to go live in another drawer. This is two skeins of Soft and Shiny in the colorway Baroque. These are Loops and Threads yarns. Kind of like the Michaels version of Karen Simply Soft, I think, was the original idea. But I like this so much better. It's so much shinier, so much softer, and it does not split the same way. And I really like the, uh, the purples and silvers because that's just kind of my happy place. So I've actually started a drawer. I have more Soft and Shiny now. So I'm going to put this in with the rest of the Soft and Shiny. Now, here is a Karen Simply Soft Stripes. I had got this to make a hippo for my daughter. Um, it's red, white, and blue. I've been getting rid of most of the Karen Simply Soft that I have. However, I've used this skein, and the skein was not terrible. So I will make something out of this eventually, because I do like how the colors work up. I liked how the white is not actually, like, white. It's got, like, red and blue splotches in it. So it's just... It's not like red, white, and blue. It's the red, white, and blue colors, but they're mixed differently. And this is actually called Golden Gate Bridge, which is just kind of funny because um, the Golden Gate Bridge, while it is not gold, it is not these colors either. So I find that to be a really strange name. But yeah, this will stick around. Here we have some Deborah Norville every day in the colorway parfait. This I made my first lodge sweater out of. I also designed a hat and scarf set for another website out of this and so I've, I've used lots of it and I enjoy it. I have more Deborah Norville every day so I'm going to put this into my basket to go find a new home. It's going to go live with the rest of the Deborah Norville in a different drawer, not in here. We also have a skein of Big Twist Sincerely. This is in the colorway Rainbow Confetti. Kind of like confetti cake. And I have actually made a hat pattern out of this um, that has not been released yet. But I bought, it was again when I was buying like two skeins of something. One so I could make something up and then another so I could tutorial with it. Well this is the skein that's been hanging out waiting to make a tutorial to go with the hat that is waiting to come out into the world. But since I'm no longer working with the website I made the designs for, I can... Um, I don't know, do with it what I want. But it's not going to live in with the variegated yarns anymore. I think it's going to go live in with some of my specialty yarns because this is just, it's different. And it works up, I mean this is knitting obviously, but it works up kind of speckly. I really liked the colorway birthday cake. That's what they had like a sample of in the store, but they were out when I got it. So I got this confetti, which eh, it's, it doesn't have the green in it like the, um, the birthday cake did. So it's not quite as, um, as pleasant to me. But I'm sure that something fun will come out of this eventually. So it's going to go wait to find an appropriate home. And I think the last thing in here we haven't talked about is another skein of the Craft Smart Value. Again, the like cheapy Michaels yarn. This is in the colorway Pastel. It will eventually become a toy of some sort. So I'm just going to go ahead and reload these things back in the box in a some sort of organized manner. I'll put like things together maybe kind of by color so that way when I open the drawer I'm like oh here are my options and then I will uh, keep going. So here we have box number 16 which is blue and green acrylics. My like standard acrylic yarn I have separated you know like reds and pinks, orange, yellow, green and blue 
And this box is super stuffed. Um, I think I went to try and put something in it the other day and I was like, ah, and it was very difficult. So I can see right off the top something that's going to disappear. This was a one pound like mill endy kind of thing that I got at Joann's. I am fairly certain this is Karen Simply Soft. If it's not, it is something equally as splitty and I have made a sweater vest and a sweater for um, my sons out of it and I'm, I'm done. I've had, my, I've had my time with it. I tried my best to use up as much of it as I could by making a second Christmas sweater out of it. I don't like working with it. I don't like how it washes up. So these are both gonna go bye-bye as soon as I can get the end in. These are gonna get added to the pile. Okay, so that is that. Let's see, maybe we should start with green, I guess, because if we're gonna go in rainbow order, maybe. So here is a ball of um, Super Saver in whatever this dark green is. There's so many, so many different shades. There's that one. Then we have a skein of patty green, you know, staple. This is frosty green. And I actually have a whole skein of that as well. This had been part of that weather afghan I was going to work on. Plus, I use it a decent amount, so I like to have the frosty green on hand. It's a nice color. It's a good, like, pastel. Then we have... Then this one is some more of that yarn that I got from my husband's co-worker's husband <laughs> um, that I've just not been enjoying. And this is um, some old Red Heart in the color Emerald. And you know what? I'm not going to use it, so I'm going to get rid of it. Now we have this little ball. This is some more of that green uh the one pound bag so i'm gonna throw it in with its friends and we have my favorite green which is the spring green i use this for so much stuff um so there's always a lot of it around if i get below a skein that's unopened i usually just buy another one because i don't like to run out I find all sorts of uses for this. So that will go hang out over there. And this is a skein of medium time. And you know how some of the Super Saver is like fluffier than others? This one is so stinking soft and fluffy. Like it feels way more like um, Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn or something. It's just way squishier and the color's really nice. I've made several things with this and it um it's like a very like kind of mature color. Like it doesn't look childish if you make things out of it. So yeah, medium time recommend. We have another little ball of the frosty green, which apparently I am unballing rather than balling. And I think that is all the green. Looks like it. Okay, so now let's move on to blue. So first off, in here I have this, I don't know what this is. Um, it's a mill end bag of this blue. I really like the color. Again, I'm going to need to go through before I decide to make anything with this and hand wind all of these to make sure why they are in these hanks. There's, I have a feeling that there is going to be some misplying in them, but I do like the color. So I will go through and when I do that, I will then know what I'm really working with. But I don't think these need to be in with this anymore. I'm going to put them in with my other like specialty acrylics, I keep calling them, because this will become something special. It's not going to be like a toy or something. And the primary purpose of having my basic acrylic split up this way is when I'm making toys. It just makes it easier for me to find what I'm looking for if they are separated by color. Okay, next up we have some Royal Super Saver and we have some Soft Navy Super Saver. This also has like a nice kind of mature look like I was saying with like the, um, the medium time. The Soft Navy has a nice, 
a nice coloring to it. Um, it's muted in the right way, so, and they wash nice as well. Now, I have a number of skeins of this. This is blue. <laughs> That's just the name of it, blue. And for a long time, I had never seen this color. I'm assuming it's kind of newish, or now it's, I think it's a Walmart exclusive now, which is how I've ended up with so much of it, because it is easily available to me. So I have three skeins of it. One completely unused, one I used a little, and one that is not quite yarn barf yet, but will be there shortly. Um, then there is this kind of baby greeny blue. That's the nice thing about putting blue and green in the same box, is there's so many colors that I don't know. Is it blue? Is it green? Does it really need to define itself as one or the other? So, oh my gosh, where is the end? Okay, so here's this the inside end, so hold on to that and just wrap the other outside end around here so that way when I go to use it next time it will be all ready because I do like to pull from the center as long as I can just personal preference okay more blues we have turqua use turqua a lot too turqua is a nice coordinate it's a very I don't know, it's been a popular color for things that I've made for sale. Toys in this color seem to go real birds in this color, go over well. Just, it draws people in. They like the color. So I make a lot of things out of Turqua. Now we have our Lion Brand Pound of Love. I bought this originally to make myself like a cable-y short sleeve sweater that I'd seen. I kind of think I might make a cardigan, like another Reminisce cardigan out of this. Um, I had been actually balling it for just that purpose. Um... Yeah, this is kind of a mess right now, and I don't think I want to keep it in this drawer anymore because it's not the same weight as the Super Saver stuff, so I won't use it that way. So I'm going to move it, and it will find a different home, and in that process, I will also probably finish balling it up. In fact, maybe I'll just finish balling it up soon, and it will just decide that it needs to be started into that cardigan because I would like it sooner rather than later. So, okay, going to move that over here in the deal with me later pile. Why deal with things now when you can just put them off, right? So here is another. My brain is just not. Usually I know all the names of the Super Saver off the top of my head, but my brain is just not doing the colors today. So here, look, that's what color it is. Um, turquoise, maybe? No. This isn't the teal. I don't know. It's this color. Another one of the. Is it green? Is it blue? I don't know. Now this is Red Heart with Love, and this had been a shawl design in progress that then got frogged, and I've been using it little by little. There's some of it went into my um, Yarn Tales reading shawl. This will get used up eventually. It's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful texture. Um, I think I might have some gray in the With Love, too, that I might mix with it, and I think they might make a nice combo. So those will go back in here. And we have a little bit of, like, the denim. And this, I think, was also frogged. In my variegated box, there was a, like, a variegated that had cream and, like, a like light brown and a blue. And it had been in a, like, a meshy heart top I had made a couple years ago. Um, with this denim color. I didn't like the tops. So I frogged it, so now I have couple of small balls of this so these will just keep hanging out here for the time being they will eventually grow into something actually I'll probably end up using this denim to make um, overalls for the dolls that I make with overalls I do like this color for overalls makes a nice denim look and then this is some Hobby Lobby I love this yarn stone wash which have been yarn fairied for me I made a shawl um, oh, which shawl was it? I don't remember the name now. Oh, the Be A Friend shawl, I think. I made a shawl for the person, Jeanette, who had yarn fairied me a whole bunch of yarn. This is one of the yarns she'd yarn fairied me, and actually all of the yarns in the shawl I made her were from yarns she had given to me. So, that is what's left of this, and it will, it will get used eventually. This might make cute overalls, too, for dolls. So, that will go in here. 
and did I talk about this one? Yes, I did. So yeah, that's all of my greens and blues. I'm going to go through and put them in the box in a more organized order. I think that now that I've opened up a little bit of space, it'll be easier to get through. This is a box that had definitely become way overcrowded, um, and I was having difficulty finding what I was looking for when I would dig through it. I also was having difficulty with being able to add things to it as I had them kind of come about in my life, because I do have some greens in my uh, other basket of things that need to go in their rightful home. Um, they need to get added to this box. So I will do that right now as I'm putting things away. But it, I needed to get rid of the things I wasn't going to use so that I can get at the things I want to use. And that way I can make better use of all things at my disposal. But I'm trying to design things or work on things or just be inspired for things. So, okay, going to go pack up the green and blue. And there we have it. That was a lot of yarn, and it is now all happily rehomed, which I will show you shortly when I do a full new office tour once the office is completely full again. It is not quite complete, and everything has not been moved back in, but so far, all the yarn fits. So my purging process was not in vain. I met my goal, it all went in, and there's still plenty of room for my precious, precious fabric, which is going to be forthcoming. Thanks for joining me. If you would like to continue to see videos like this and all the other fun things that go on here at Hook by Happenstance, you can subscribe down below. On the screen next to me is also a link for all of the other yarn stash, spring cleaning, what have you videos. If you missed out on any of them and would like to get your yarny fix, I will see you all next time. Bye!